another brick fan here with a look at the Lego Collectible Minifigures Series 20. This is set number 71027, was released in April 2020. Consists of 16 minifigures packaged in blind bags. Each blind bag costs about $5, so an entire set would cost about $80 if you can guess correctly when feeling the blind bags. These were packaged in this nice silver blind bag, which I think looks quite good. So here's our overall view of the minifigures. You can see there's all 16 of them. There's quite a variety of figures. Some of the standouts to me are the pinata boy with that new pinata piece, which I think looks really nice. I like the knight. Which I think is done quite well. He's that back there in the back. And then the sea rescuer or the scuba diver here is a, a really good minifig. It comes with a whole bunch of different accessories, including the fins, you know, the dive mask, and that very nice turtle piece, which I think is done quite well. Probably my overall favorite though is Drone Boy. I really like the drone. I think it's a good looking piece. I like how they use the one by three rounded tile there as the controller. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at all of these figures. Taking a closer look at the minifigures, let's start with our first two, which is Pajama Girl and Pinata Boy. Pajama Girl comes with this stuffed bunny figure, which is printed very nicely with this little pink nose and the white belly which looks nice and there is no additional coloring on the back. It would have been nice probably to put a little white on the cotton tail just as an example. A good stuffed bunny figure overall. The pinata that comes with the pinata boy is really well done. I really like the color scheme on this pinata that with the azure blue ears, nose and tail and then the use of some of the other colors, the pink, purple, and orange stripes that are all over the figure. Both sides are printed the same way. And I think it looks quite good. I, it's a very desirable piece to be sure. Going back to the minifigures, there's a good print here on Pajama Girl of her pink pajamas with the white bunnies on them. You can see her shirt being buttoned up there. I like the choice of the light yellow or very blonde hair piece here. She has the single expression there, so more of a classic Lego minifigure look with just the single facial expression and the yellow head. Pinata Boy over here is wearing a great sombrero piece. Once again, he just has the single face print. The poncho that he is wearing, also called a serape, is done with two fabric pieces, so the one in front and one in back. Very colorful and looks very good on the minifigure. Of course, he has a plain white torso. As you see, there's no printing on him because the serape is really all the decoration he needs. And then he does come with the bar piece to represent the bat or stick that he uses to hit the pinata. If we look around you see there the serape continues around the back here printing all the way around the sombrero piece which I think is very nice. And there are our first two of our 16 minifigures. Next up we have Peapod Costume Girl and Sea Rescuer. As you can see, they each have a small accessory. Peapod Girl has an apple and the Sea Rescuer has the little clover piece or plant piece. The Sea Rescuer comes with this nice turtle piece, which I think looks very good. I like, like the nougat and sand green coloring for the turtle. Makes for a very good little accessory piece for the Sea Rescuer. The Sea Rescuer has the nice azure blue or the light blue 
accents as well as light blue fins which I took off just Peapod Girl is done with this nice peapod in two, two different colors of green. The peas are in a lighter green color as you can see. And then her legs and arms are done in the dark green color. She has that single expression which is the nice smiley face there. Our sea rescuer has these nice dual molded legs with the yellow and black and some nice accents in azure and pink as well as a turtle logo there on the center of her wetsuit. The fins she comes with are in the same color as the accent pieces on her arms and then the stripes on her wetsuit. Moving around these figures, you see that good printing there on the arms with the blue and the yellow. You can see that the torso piece is the same color as the pea pod that pea pod costume girl is wearing here. The back continues the printing for the sea rescuer. And finally she has this the sea rescuer has this helmet with the nice clear azure dive mask. Let's move on to our next figures. Here we have Pirate Girl and Martial Arts Boy. Pirate Girl is done very nicely with these black legs that are printed all the way down to her ankles basically with the black and red striped pirate pants. There's a little bit of gold accent on the bottom. I like the detailing on the belt and bandolier that she's wearing. You see some ruffle around her white shirt. She's got kind of a strange grin on her face and she comes with a sword and this nice dual molded hat piece so the hat and hair piece are together. There's the small red feather piece that connects to the hat using a small post. Martial Arts Boy is in a white gi with some good printing that includes comes down his legs just slightly and then there's the Mar Dojo logo or Martial Arts logo there on his left side there. He comes with these new nunchuck pieces which I think are really fun and certainly accurate if not maybe a little bit big. They are extremely easy to find and feel inside of the blind bag so that makes this an easy figure to find. He also has this headband printed up here as well. Moving around the figures you see that both have some very nice back printing with the martial arts guy having a larger logo of his dojo or perhaps his karate discipline there. Get a better look at this dual molded hair piece. So she's got a really nice long ponytail here and then connected molded directly into the black hat that she's wearing. Let's move on to our next two minifigures. Next up we have Break Dancer and Super Warrior. Let's take a look at this boombox piece. Done in this nice azure blue or teal color. This is more of a teal color with some gold accents. This is similar to uh, boomboxes we've seen before. I, I remember this seeing this also in the Lego Ninjago collector minifigure series. Breakdancer has this great dual molded white cap and then hair piece, which I like very much. She's wearing a shirt and you can see kind of her, got a bare midriff on her there. Very nice printing on the dual molded legs here in the black and white with some little accents on her toes there representing sneakers or something. So I think those look really good. The printing is quite seamless on the Super Warrior. I like how it goes all the way down to mid leg and then it looks really seamless here where the connection is. Very nicely done there. He has kind of the regular face here with a little bit of scarring perhaps. Kind of a grouchy face on him. The helmet is very distinct with this arrow piece and the horns or this big triangular piece up on top done in that nice gold color. He has this very nice sword which looks either dual molded or maybe injected with a different color in the middle. Very interesting technique done for that sword. There's looks like some blues and greens. 
inside of it, making it look really nice. Moving around the figures, you see that the Super Warrior does have some printing on his shoulder there. As we move to the back, you see his belt continuing around and then the rest of the ornamentation, ornaments on his uniform. Our break dancer has some continuing print there of her kind of half shirt. No alternate face for either one of these figures. Let's move on to our next two. Next up we have Llama Costume Girl and Space Fan. The Llama Costume Girl has this carrot piece. Our Space Fan has several little accessories. One being this brick built rocket with the NASA logo on it. Just three little pieces, but it looks quite good. She also has this little rocket diagram tablet that talks about the different stages of the rocket and is obviously a drawing of the brick built rocket I just showed you. She has a t-shirt that has the Galaxy Explorer on it which is very nostalgic for all us space fans. And then she has the pink cap that also says space on it. This is another dual molded headpiece. Llama Girl is done in this nice tan color. You see that she does have some toes down here printed on the fronts of her feet. And then I like this llama headpiece. I think it looks really good with the good printing of the nose and mouth there on the snout. Moving around these figures, you get a really good look at the dual molded cap and black hair for the space fan. And then in the back of the llama costume is this very nice zipper feature. So it really gives you the impression this is kind of a one piece suit with a headpiece. So I think it fits really well in, in showing that off as a costume. Let's go ahead and move on to our next minifigures. Next up, we have Brick Costume Guy and the Athlete. The Brick Costume Guy, I like the hair color choice and the hair style. I think it looks quite good. He does have a printed tile with this 10 year anniversary symbol. So this is 10 years of Lego collectible minifigures. So it's a nice touch there. The athlete has three little accessories, so one being this discus piece, just a silver and green on a rounded tile. She also has this spear or javelin piece, and then this medal here that she's wearing around her neck. She has her competition bib on as a print, and then the dual molded legs with the black and white, which I think look good. And if you look closely, there's a little bit of black just around the bottom of the shoe she's wearing. She does have a little bit of printing here on the side, presumably a shoe logo right here, which looks good. See on the back, she has her bib and you can read the number 0937, which you can't see on the front because she's wearing that in metal. The back of the brick costume looks just like a brick, so we have the studs on the front and the anti-studs on the back, which looks very nice. So there we have the athlete and the brick costume guy. Next up we have the tournament knight and our 80s musician. The Tournament Knight comes with this very nicely printed shield piece. So it's a gray shield piece with yellow, black, and red here with his logos or coat of arms. He also has this nice broadsword piece. 
And then if you look, he has some very good printing here on the dual molded legs again with a dark bluish gray on the bottom. And then a mixture of black and yellow here on, on the top. There's a good belt piece here. And then the black and yellow again for his livery. He has the same feather piece as the pirate girl, but it looks appropriate here for him. Our 80s musician has this nice 80s long hairband hairstyle along with this kitar piece. The kitar is very distinct for you to feel this figure in the blind bag, but it looks good here with a nice keyboard and then the whole rest of the kitar look. He's got his rocker jet black jacket on. I like how the pink lightning bolt here matches the pink pants. And then he's got this well done black belt as well. Moving around the figures. See that the knight's printing continues along the back. It looks very good. The rocker actually does have an alternate face. And this is his tour jacket. So here's his hard rocking look. The knight has only one face, as you can see here. Got a good bearded face along with him. Let's move on to our last two figures. Last up, we have Drone Boy and the Viking. And Drone Boy has this great drone piece right here, which has the four propellers and then another piece below to represent the camera. It has this little post here in the back, which allows him to carry that around easily. He also has the little controller piece, which I think is cleverly done on this quarter rounded tile. It's a one by three quarter rounded tile. Looks very nice with a little seam there in the middle and then the controller sticks on either side and a couple of extra buttons. The Viking has a spear piece, which is dual molded with this silver and brown. And then a Nicely printed shield here. Has the Viking helmet and the orange beard. The printing on both of these is quite nice. The drone boy has a little bandage here on the side of his face, which I think is kind of nicely done for a young boy. You know, getting scratched up and stuff is probably pretty common. He has the green jacket over his t-shirt and then the dark blue pants. The Viking has this very nice print of the belt that comes all the way down. Once again, dual molded legs with the brown on the bottom and then the sand green color above that. The helmet piece is very nice, different, kind of a different style than you normally see. You see that his arms are also either colored or dual molded here as well. And then this blue cape that he comes with. Got the hoodie on the back of the drone boy and then the back of the Viking is interestingly kind of a cape like look, even though he does have this cloth cape to go with it. No alternate face for either one of these. And there you have a close look at all 16 minifigures. Let's go back and wrap this up. As I said in the beginning, overall, I think this is a really nice set of minifigures. I think they all have some very good prints, lots of really interesting accessories. They carried on the theme of including some posable pieces. They, they included some posing pieces that they started with the DC collectible minifigures series, one for the break dancer, which allows you to put her in lots of different poses and having her dance, which I think was a good inclusion. They also included it with the sea rescuer to make it look kind of like she's swimming like I did here. 
with Posinger. I did put together a quick blind bag opening and feel, rudimentary feel guide. So to give you some ideas on the different parts to feel for to be successful in getting all of these figures together on your first try. There are about three complete sets in a box. You have a really good chance of getting all these figures on your first try if you just take a little bit of time and work through them. Hope you've enjoyed my thoughts on this minifigure series. I'm going to get started on my next video. Until then, happy building. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more of my content. I've left some links to some other videos you might enjoy as well.